Hi everybody, it's Julia, your trusted travel expert, usually helping you find the je ne sais quoi wherever you are, but in these times when we are kind of more or less homebound, I am helping you at least experience the je ne sais quoi of a destination. Um, and I wanted to do that by giving you a list of movies. Um, earlier in the week, I talked about how we can't travel right now, but we can still dream. And a really great way of um, helping us dream and helping inspire us is to visit a place through a movie. So here are some of the my favorite movies that really give you a sense of the je ne sais quoi, a sense of the place of where they're filmed or where they where they take place. And since I'm a France girl, let's just start there. Paris, of course, is the the site for many, many, many movies. Obviously, France has a big film industry, um, but they're also very great American or U.S. based movies um, filmed in France. Now, I'm not a huge Woody Allen fan. But I will say that Midnight in Paris is one of my favorites um, because it does such a great job of blending the old and the new Paris, um, all the modern uh, aspects of today's life in Paris, and then mixed with that sort of old Paris, the sort of Belle Epoque Paris, um, where you know all the the writers in the 20s and Josephine Baker and all of that. Um, and it, you can go see a lot of the places uh, that that they filmed, um, and it just it really does really give you a good sense of Paris. Another very famous Parisian film, of course, is Amélie. Amélie is the French film, mostly filmed around Montmartre um, in, in that kind of northern part of Paris. It's a little quirky, obviously. Not everybody's day-to-day -day life is like that in Paris, but I do think it gives you a really good sense of what day-to-day -day life is like in Paris. Um, now, historical movies set in, in Paris, obviously, you know, Les Miserables is a very famous historical movie about the French Revolution, but um, pre-revolutionary movies in set in Paris, they're usually filmed on location. They're not filmed, uh, you know, they're usually filmed on a set, not on location. One movie that was filmed on location that is fantastic is Marie Antoinette. Now, if you discount all of the, you know, sort of pop um, actors and music that Sofia Coppola used in that movie, it is a beautiful, beautifully shot filmed in Versailles, um, you know, close to the public, and it really gives you an idea of what the, you know, the glory days of, of France might have been like, um, and all the excesses and the riches that they had. So that's a really good one for some historical settings in France. Uh, another one of my sentimental all-time favorites that's a good sort of panorama of France is uh, French French Kiss, the old movie with Kevin Klein and um, Meg Ryan. That one I love because it starts off in Paris, but then they go to Provence and you get some of the Provencal countryside and wine and stuff like that, and they end in the French Riviera in Cannes. So that's, you know, like a, basically a perfect road trip through France. Um, another good one for some Provencal flavor is uh, A Good Year, which is a movie, one of um, uh, um, Mar Marianne Cotillard's first English language movies with Russell Crowe. It's not like the greatest movie, but it all takes place in a Provencal village and on a wine farm and it's very, very French and very cute. Um, moving on from France, England is probably my next fave and England is a really easy place also to get um, a sense of place in the movies filmed there because, um, uh, sorry, my dog is distracted by some of the things in the park. Um, obviously all the old Jane uh, Austen adaptations, any really historical novels um, that they've adapted, they do a really good job of filming them, you know, at actual country houses in England, um, you know, at places that you can really sort of see and feel what it was like in England. Now, I will say that you uh, have to be careful because sometimes they sneak in Ireland uh, as a stand in for England uh, in some movies. I just watched a Northanger Abbey adaptation recently that was all filmed in Ireland. But there are a ton of great movies that give you Irish sense of place um, in Ireland. I mean, just off the top of my head, a good um, uh, leap year is a really silly rom-com, but it's filmed in these beautiful places in South Southeast England. If you go back, you've got A Quiet Place with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara, and that takes place like in uh, around Ashford Castle in County, County Con Connemara. There are tons and tons and tons of movies based in Ireland that really give you a sense of Irish um, daily life. If you want a modern one, Once uh, is still one of my all-time favorite movies. I haven't watched that one in a long time. Kind of want to get that one on my back on my rotation. Another place that we are all thinking about right now and we all want to get back to is Italy. Italy is just getting wrecked by this right now, which we all may be soon behind it. 
Um, and there are tons and tons of great movies around Italy. Again, starting with old, with like Roman Holiday, with all those really iconic Roman sites that are now tourist sites because they are in the movie. Um, uh, Call Me By Your Name for a new one for very wonderful kind of pan-European life and life in Italian countryside. Another one that has a similar feel to that is called Stealing Beauty that I loved with Liv Tyler back uh, in the 90s. Um, Under the Tuscan Sun, classic. Diane Lane building, remodeling a house in Tuscany. I mean, it just makes you want to buy a house in Tuscany and, and move there. Um, so, you know, Talon Mr. Ripley, that's another one, although it's kind of, you know, crazy. Um, I mean, there are just so many movies that are set in the places that we like to go to or that we're dreaming of going to that you can watch that can really transport you there since we're kind of stuck at home now. Um, I'll kind of stop because I've been going on for a while and I want to keep this short. Um, but I hope that this just gives you a quick little list of some of my favorites that give you a sense of the place um, and the places that we that I love to visit and hopefully that you love to visit or if you haven't been, make you want to go visit. Um, because we can still plan and we can still dream even if we can't travel right now. So that's it for this week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.